Yeah, hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Rogina here and today's video is a DIY. Y'all, I haven't done a DIY in a very long time so I'm super excited about this video. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining the squad. So we are going to hop right into this DIY. Supplies, you are going to need wood letters. These are from Hobby Lobby. I want to say they are nine inch letters. You're going to need acrylic paint, paint brushes, foam paint brushes, and painter's tape. So Christian wanted a Batman themed bedroom and he loved the letters that I did for Caleb's nursery. So he wanted some for his room. So I had to come up with a design to incorporate the Batman theme into his name letters. Before you even get started, you wanna write out your child's name so you can figure out what the design um, looks like and how you want it to be. I would definitely suggest going on Pinterest and looking up Batman letters or superhero letters so you can have some type of idea of what you like and what you can do. There are a ton of options. You can do Mod Podge with um, comic book paper or with fabrics. Um, there's like <laughs> no limits on this. So based on my design, I am letting Christian paint some of the letters starting with the solid ones first so i knew i wanted three solid letters and the rest to be um kind of decorative because he has a nine letter name so the first letter is solid the middle letter is solid and then the last letter is solid So once he was done painting those letters, I let all of that dry. Now I will say all acrylic paint is not created equal. The yellow and the light blue paint I got from Dollar Tree and I would not, would not recommend this paint. It was so thin, um, it had like horrible coverage. I had to go over this yellow at least four times. It was, it was a mess. So the rest of the acrylic paint i got from walmart and hobby lobby which has very very good coverage but this dollar tree acrylic paint i would not recommend at all So as you can see, the letters with the designs were drawn out in, in pencil first before I painted them. So as you can see, the first letters that I did, I did not paint the edges, but at this point I decided, uh, let me go ahead and paint the edges. So I had to go back and paint all of the edges on all of those other letters. I would suggest painting the edges just to give it a more finished look.
And y'all don't be afraid to press down on these foam brushes. They absorb a lot of paint and when you press down on them, a lot of that paint will come up so you can continue painting with it. So now that all of the letters are painted, I'm gonna go in with the custom designs. This vinyl Batman sign is um, a vinyl sticker that was on Christian's wall. I just used it to make a um, trace on the letter and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in with some black acrylic paint. Now I could have easily left that vinyl sticker on there and just added some more adhesive, but I wanted to put it back on his wall. If you have like a cricket or a silhouette or something like that, you could easily make a vinyl um, Batman sticker just to stick on here. And I apologize for the lighting. I was sitting in front of the window. I was in my dining room and the light was going like in and out. So I do apologize for that. As you can see, I did kind of tweak my original design. This H was not a part of my original design. It was supposed to be completely different, but Christian wanted the H to be half gray and half blue. So I had to make it work.
So I am slowing down the video in sections so you can see exactly how slow I'm going trying to paint these. I was not rushing through at all to paint these. So the cityscape was drawn on with a pencil first and then I went in with the black acrylic paint to outline it and paint it in.
and this is how all the letters look together i cannot wait to put them in his room and also show you guys exactly how it looks i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one Thank you.